Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 6 of <laughs> my next life as a villain. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Is this our beach episode? Hi there, how you doing? <laughs> it looks like the real thing. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Kind of, you know, 10 out of 10. See, because, okay, I think someone said it last week or week before that, and I didn't notice, but um, I think now I had to go back and look at some scenes. Okay, so Shota Ali plays the guy who Katarina is betrothed. I really don't hear it sometimes because, okay, as someone who is still watching Simple Gear but just finished the season that he was on, you hear his female, vo his his voice, and how he sa he sounds just like a male and a female because he has a very feminine voice, and I love it to Christ's sake. It's such a good behind voice. But I think if he's gonna show up in this episode, I'm gonna listen to it again because in a way, like I think as a kid, I heard it, but now it's like when he's an adult, I don't really hear it as much. I think like I gotta listen to it at least one more time. What if someone from her past shows up today? For her, yes. <laughs> They're not Maria's sweet, so. <laughs> but with her. Mm-hmm. It's good, though. Minute. No, so okay, no. I thought. Oh, is that watermelon? I'm not one for watermelon, but I if it's watermelon flavored things. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get in trouble I guess.
Just a nightmare. You're not going to have these sister complexes and shit, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think so. You can find a way to make them, like mine, from a son to a book room. Oh my god, look at tomato. Yeah, I kind of hear it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And he's not going to do anything yet. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, but somebody had to. Th oh my god! <laughs> I figured. There's the harem. The harem. <laughs> well, look, if we're still figuring out who we're all going to ride with, can I ride with Alan, please? Two brushes grow. Of course, these two.
Chỗ <sighs> yeah, and it makes me wonder what those four are talking about anyway. Can we just talk about how awkward it was to hear him chew? No. Right. You want to come up? Give me a man who just comes to my door and just says that. And I'd be like, peace out, bitches. <laughs> hmm? Oh, Christ. Well, yeah, I don't think so either. I don't like a vision. Mm -mm, mm -mm, stay here. Is she doing what I think she's doing? <laughs> It's not her. 
Paul, it's her pleasure. Be sweet. Guys, huh. the fucking fan girl, so. He's just the bad boy that every fucking girl wants to go with. The <laughs> I need new Atome games recommendations, please. Like, oh. <laughs> or you Really? But you're gorgeous! There has to be one girl you're in love with, unless you're looking right at her. I'm just saying, goddamn. I mean, do you know how many people we've seen the route with Katarina? I mean, it's too many damn people, but like, did y'all look at the past thing this week? The ranking? Oh my god. Bitches. My phone. Of course, it is 
He, oh my lord. <laughs> this is why whenever you have summer homework, do it day one. Right when you get home. Because then you ain't got to worry about it. And when it's the last week of summer, you ain't stressing. Just saying. Mm -mm. Cat girl. Her friend's adorable, though. Is it the next day? Oh, my God. Did you finish everything, though? Yeah, did you finish? That is a summer episode in its nutshell. You leave the homework until the last freaking minute and you never finish it. Oh my god, girl. But can we talk about Alan? Oh my god. I'm in love with him. Like, I'm so. I'm, you know what? No, check that. I'm in love with all the fucking guys in this series, including Keith, because Keith is just so adorable. I just. I need a new Atome game on my phone or something because the last Atome game that I'm currently playing right now is Mr. Love Queen something. And I like that game, but it, like sometimes the pace of it, it takes a little too long and I'm like, let's just go. I want to go. But And I've, I've played Mystic Messenger way too many freaking times because the shit that I had to do with that series the first time I played it when I was running away from the hurricane. Hilarious, though. But this was such a good episode. I mean, I loved it for what it was. I think somebody told me, like, what, last week that I wasn't really going to like the next few episodes coming up. Maybe they didn't mean this episode. Maybe they kind of meant next week's episode. Who knows? But having a summer vacation episode was really good. I mean, it wasn't a fan service episode, which is okay in my book. I mean, in a way, you had the guys become fan service in a way. I mean, they're fan service in every single freaking episode, which is good in my book. But it was nice. You had the harem all together doing some activities and eating together. It was sweet. I cannot believe this child ran after the damn goose just to get her cookie back. I mean, here's my thing. Once an animal gets whatever the fuck I'm eating, I'm like, here, take it. I don't want it. Mm -mm. We ain't even going to try anything else. Mm -mm. I I'm not going to run after you or anything. Uh -uh. Just take it. There's more in my basket. Mm -mm. This is why you will never see me go on no damn picnic. The last time I was on a picnic picnic was like element. Yeah, element and yeah, elementary school. Elementary school, sixth grade, before our middle school. <laughs> that was the last time I went on a picnic picnic. And it wasn't even a required thing. It was like, oh yeah, you can go on this. And I was like, okay. But mm mm. I think if, unless, like, my significant other, my future husband, or my future boyfriend was, like, you know, wanting to surprise me on that, then I'd be okay with that. Don't even tell me we're going on a picnic. Just saying we're going somewhere else. And then you surprise me with it. I'll still be surprised as fuck. But i just be like, if a goose or whatever comes near me and wants my food, I'm literally just going to be like, here, take it. I don't want it. Mm -mm. There's more in the basket right then and there. But this was such a good episode. I loved it. I just want more episodes and Alan is playing the piano because, ooh, I can't. That was, uh, mm, bad boy. 
and I want him so fucking much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of my next life as a villainess. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode seven. Bye, guys.